Okay, um, welcome to welcome to today's lecture. So today we will talk about the second type of the loop and which is a while loop. Uh, so this is also our last class of the flow control section. So we already talked about the if else um, statement. And also last week, we talked about the range function and also a for loop. So this week, we are talk about the while loop and also the break, continue, and also a pass statement. So all those together are the major uh, uh, methods that in Python that we can do the flow control. And actually, all those together and also combining what we have mentioned uh, in the previous section, like the basic data types and also data containers, uh, you should be able to develop a very uh, sophisticated uh, Python uh, programs. What you need are just re uh, more practice. So um, use what you have learned to try to resolve the real world uh, problems. All right, so let's look at the while loop. So similar to the for loop, so while loop allows the Python to do the repeated executions. However, so while loop will make a single judgment. So as long as that condition is true, Python will repeat that action within the while loop. Uh, so the th syntax is well. And here you have defined that condition. And as long as the condition is true, and also have this colon. And you can define something here so that do something here. So you still need this indentation so that tell Python that this part belong to the while loop. However, so for the while loop, make sure that you will change the condition within this part. OK, so that the, the condition will change each time uh, and it will reach a point that the condition will be false. OK, so otherwise uh, you just you will develop a dead loop, so which will uh, uh, running forever. So make sure that uh, when you define, define this part, so um, it will change the condition that to some point that uh, the condition will become false. All right, so let's see an example in Python. So. So let's update our local repository and also create our uh, this is lecture seven dot py and so this is lecture seven. We will talk about the while loop. Okay, so let's define our while loop. So before we start, let's say we define a variable. Let's say i equals five, and the next. Let's say that while i is great or equal than zero colon. And we hit enter, we can see that now we have this uh, indentation being created automatically. And we see i equals i minus one. OK, and let's print i. OK. So here you can see that first we define a variable that outside of this while loop. And the condition is that so as long as i is great or equal to zero, so we will run those two part, two code. So first one will change the condition so that you can see after five times i will be less smaller than zero. And every time when we, we will print the i. So let's run it. OK, and you can see the first time i equals 4, the second time i equals 3, OK, and until here that i equals negative 1. So th the last one is negative 1. OK, uh, so this is a very simple while loop. So here I have a question. So if I print i before this calculation, are we going to have the same result? OK, so before you run this Python code, so think about that um, a little bit and see, 
are we going to have the same result? And the answer is no. So let's run it. And you can see here, the answer is that the first number being printed is 5, and next is 4, 3, 2, 1, and also 0. OK, uh, so let's add a breakpoint, and let's enable this debugging. OK, and let's clear all the other expressions. So here, let's say we are just looking for i. All right, so let's run it. We can say here i equals 5, so 5 will be printed out. OK, and next i equals 4, 4 is greater than 0. So 4 will be printed out. OK, and next i equals 3, 3 is will be printed out. And next i equals 2, and 2 is now being printed out. And next i equals 1, and 1 being printed out. So at this step, i equals 0 So after this calculation. And that is still true. So that is still true. So i will be uh, 0 will be printed out. And now i equals negative 1. So negative 1 will no longer uh, meet this condition. So now the, uh, the, the while loop has stopped. So if we put that one above this print um, function. So now if we run it this time, and you can see here, well, i equals 5, i equals 5 minus 1. So the first number that will be printed out is 4. OK, so that's why they are different. And the next, i equals 4, and the i equals 4 minus 1. So the next, the second number being printed out is actually 3. OK, and similarly, so until we reach i equals uh, 1, so 1 is still true in this condition. So now i equals 1 minus 1. So we print it to 0. And we bring 0 back to this loop. 0 is still great or equal to 0. OK, so now i equals 1 minus a 0 minus 1. So that's why we printed negative 1. OK, so now you can see that when we put the 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 order slightly different, the output of this while loop uh, will also be different.